Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Killer Meteors. 1976. Getting a 3 out of 5 stars. I thought it was alright. The director has a bad reputation. It's got the dude from uh, The Bloody Dragon. And uh, he was actually more of a star than Jackie Chan in this one. Because Jackie Chan didn't break through until Drunken Master two years later. But um, it's about this spy guy, dude in, uh, in China. He's got the killer, killer meteor thing. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like a, a ball on a chain that explodes into a meteor and then hits people in the chest and explodes again. Don't ask me, but uh, the story's confusing. It's two hours long. It's way too long. There are some cool plot twists and... Uh, some decent fight scenes, but uh, I don't know. The killer meteor guy is it uh, Kevin Wang Yu or I forgot his name already, but. Uh, He's trying to investigate some stolen treasure. Jackie Chan's wife is poisoning him. And, uh, and he thinks that the uh, stolen treasure is with Jackie Chan's wife, so he's like chasing after Jackie Chan's wife, trying to get into the treasure box, which isn't the real treasure box. Uh, she and Jackie Chan take this uh, skin melting drug and uh, anyways both of them end up dying supposedly and uh, there's a love interest she uh, she kind of shows off her shoulders but can't see underneath her armpits if there's any hair there. <laughs> Just like the uh, Vampire Effect movie. And, um, anyways, I didn't get the, uh, the jab or the test mandate. lecture yet but uh, I'm sure it's coming from at least one of my employers and uh, I'm here in the parking lot just waiting for my shift before they uh, they tell me that I uh, that I'm not complying with Joe Biden's mandate or whatever I almost want to do the test every week just so that I can uh, hit my financial goal. But uh, I don't want to show my son that I'm a coward, so probably won't end up doing that. Anyways, that's the end of my review. Laters.